hi everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to consider another question involving a binomial distribution the question is a box contains a large number of pens the probability that a pen is faulty is 0 decimal 1 how many pens would you need to select to be more than 95% certain of picking at least 141? In this question, you will see that you have not been given the n, the number of pens. So, you need to find the n. The first thing to do is def to define the number of pens so we can say let n be the number of pens you need to select x capital x is the number of 40 pens in x now assuming independence and using a binomial model we can write so we can write using a binomial model we can write x follows bin and p so we're going to write the n itself since we do not know the value and p now we have the value which is zero decimal one now once we have defined our distribution we can find the q so we have p is 0 decimal 1 therefore q is simply 1 minus 0 decimal 1 which is 0 decimal 9 now in the question you will see that it says how many pens would you need to select to be more than 95 percent certain of picking at least 141 now the keywords are more than 95 percent and at least 141 so how are we going to write this so the first thing we need to write no what we want is probability of at least 141 140 pen so x is greater or equal to 1 is more than 95% is greater than 95% now this 95% we can write as probability of x greater or equal to 1 is greater than 0 decimal 5 now we need to use this to find n so using this to find our n okay now how can we rewrite this probability of x is greater or equal to 1 what does this mean what does this probability mean if we do a number line again so we're going to start with 0 1 2 so it goes on up till n now Property of x greater equal to 1, it means we're going to consider which values. So 1, 2, 3, up till n. Now, what are the values that we do not want that is not included in this probability? It's this 0. Now, we know that the sum of all probabilities is 1. So we can say that 1 minus probability of x is equal to 0 is greater than 0 decimal 9 5 next step is we need to rewrite this again using the binomial model it's simply 1 minus so we have nc0 so if i write it again it's going to be nc0 0, 0 decimal 1 power 0 and then 0 decimal 9 power n is greater than zero decimal nine now this and this we're left with one minus zero decimal nine power n now zero decimal one power zero is one so we're left with one minus zero decimal nine power n is greater than 
zero decimal nine five. Now we can simplify this further. So we're going to have. So if we group the like terms, we're going to have negative zero decimal nine power n is greater than zero decimal nine five minus one. So we have negative zero greater than negative zero decimal zero five. Now, if I want to remove the negative sign, it is simply we need to change the sign. So the greater becomes less. So 0 decimal 9 power n is less than 0 decimal 0 5. Using this inequality, we need to find our n. Now from here, there are two ways of finding the unknown n, either by trial and improvement or by using logarithms. But for this question, I'm going to show you how to find the n using logarithms. Using logarithms, taking logs to base 10 of both sides, log 0 decimal 9 power n is less than log 0 decimal 0 5. Using the laws of log, we're going to send the n in front of the log. So we have n log of 0 decimal 9 less than log of 0 decimal 0 5. Now, this part is a bit tricky. Instead of sending this log to the other side, we need to use a calculator to find a log of decimal 9. So we're going to have something log of 0 decimal 9 is negative 0 decimal 0 4 5 less than log of now why do I do this step is simply because when we when we use calculator to find log of 0 decimal 9 we have a negative value and you know here since we have an inequality sign and if we're going to divide by a negative value the inequality sign changes so here we're going to have n is instead of the uh, less it becomes greater than log of 0 divided by this value so n is greater than using the calculator so we have log of 0 divided by the log of 0 decimal 9 we have n is greater than 28 decimal 4 3 dot 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 now the question says how many pen would you need to select so the least value of n is is 29 so the number of pens is 29 one important thing that you need to remember is when we divide by a negative quantity we need to reverse the inequality I hope you like this video thank you for watching Please do subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye.